So it's June and that is safety month and it's also the beginning of hurricane season. So we want to do a little bit of time with showing you some basic things you should put in a preparedness kit. We know we can do a lot of things but you can't go very long without water. So make sure you have, I think it's recommended, three days of water for everybody in your family and that includes pets. So, and the recommended allowance is at least a gallon of water per person per day. So, it's easy to stockpile water. You can buy water, just keep it in a dark place and it will last for a really long time. If you're not sure about where you're going to get water from, you should have a way to purify the water. Uh, there are lots of camping filters and things you can use. Um, this is a handy little SteriPen. So, this one, even though it looks like a medical device, actually is an ultraviolet device that with batteries it will kill all the bacteria in the water just by taking this and swirling it around in a cup of water for an amount of time. Then you've got some drinkable water. If you're tired of drinking water, if you have little ones that are not happy with just the flavor of water, then you might want to pick up some water flavor enhancers. And these are in little packets that you just mix in with the water. They also can give you electrolytes, so if it's hot, like in the middle of hurricane season, you don't want to dehydrate or run out of some of those nutrients in your body when you're busy and working and, and under stress in other ways. So we like to eat and having some foods that are easy to prepare and easy not requiring a lot of preparation or cleanup are really important when you're under stress from other things. Again, having at least a minimum of three days of food is recommended. I'm going for at least seven days. So make sure you have some peanut butter, lots of good protein, um, some other good canned goods. You know, this is pretty stable. Um, make sure you have a can opener. You can buy canned goods that are protein based, don't require a lot of heating. If you want to get a little more fancy, and especially if you've got some people that are picky eaters, there's some neat things if you go to your local camping store and you can buy freeze dried or dehydrated foods. Freeze dried are really awesome because you just add water and they come back to, and it's, it's better than the space guys eat, promise. But you can have chicken breast with mashed potatoes and a bunch of things and it actually tastes not that bad. What's really neat is that you also don't want to forget to have some treats. This one is mocha mousse pie, especially for some kids. So make sure you have some hard candies or things like that just to kind of get through things by. If you have a caffeine addiction, I do. So I make sure and I pack some instant coffee and kind that will even kind of dissolve in cold water. It's amazing how comforting lighting can be. So we don't realize how important it is in our lives. So having a way to make sure you have well-lit areas or at least some kind of safety is helpful. Make sure you have a flashlight with lots of backup batteries. So you can get some way to have a headlamp or something like that, then you can have light and do other things with your hands because there's always something to do in the middle of a hurricane. So this is like a little glass lantern. And so if you have kids or pets around, these are really important as well. If you have kids and pets too, sometimes and you know you're gonna lose power, Buy these, okay, but don't use them when they're just a party. Save some of them. Have a first aid kit. Most of us have one in our house, but make sure you have one available and it's in with your kit. Supplies are replenished regularly and maybe some extra things that you might not normally put in your house kit. If you have any allergies or special medications, make sure you have an extras on hand so you can't get to the pharmacy, you know what you're going to need. Next time you get your eyes checked, Keep your old prescription glasses because if a pair breaks and you can't get to them, you might need those as well or if your contacts go out. One of the most important things is sunscreen and mosquito spray. So after a hurricane when you're out working outside or having to clear some things, funny but after all those rains, mosquitoes go like crazy and they see you and they want you badly. Tools are important to keep in a house kit, so there are things that you know you're going to want for your house or for your car. In a car you keep some handy tools, uh, jumper cables and some basic things. In your house you always want to have a couple of things in a storm. Um, easily, you know, keep a, a multi-tool around that's on your belt or something like that. Get a fire extinguisher and have those you know, updated and safe in your house. Get one of those little mini crowbars. If, um, keep a pair of gloves handy because you don't need any scratches or scrapes on you. Um, keep an extra way for battery power if you have any tools or fuel that you need for that. Um, keep some extra fuel. Get a gas can and have those things for your car, for your um, lawnmower, for your um, chainsaw, those kinds of things that you're going to be using after a hurricane. So our favorite thing at Shipple is communication, being a web marketing company. So we have to find ways to make sure we can communicate no matter what. 
Um, this is a basic. Get you a nice little weather and, and battery operated radio. This one's even solar powered and does some other things. These work great when all other power is out. You can at least have some kind of connection to the world and hear a little bit of what's going on. Uh, when you run out of batteries, um, there might be another way you can get a power inverter. These plug into your car or another cigarette outlighter to a battery pack or to a generator. We have little um, backups for your cell phones, so a lot of times we know cell phones can still get through with text messages, even if you can't make a phone call. Uh, you may need a, a wireless air card, so sometimes these still work as well. If you don't have wireless or your other you know, electricity to your house, you can still use a laptop as another way to communicate. When all else fa fails, make sure you have a backup of all your documents on a USB and just maybe even a way to write some things down with notes and keep your documents safe. So pick up a good atlas. We live in Texas, so this is a nice atlas that has all of the back roads and all those things. We know that when you're trying to uh, get out of a metro area for some reason, and if there's a lot of other people getting out at the same time, you definitely want to follow the secure hurricane routes and designated areas, but you may need to go a little bit off the beaten path as well, just to make you feel a little bit more secure about where you're ultimately headed. So we hope that you'll take some time and think a little bit about making a plan, getting a kit together, putting a checklist, getting your documents prepared ahead of time, and learn some ways to protect you and your family. If you have any questions, um, email or contact us at Shippel Web Marketing Company and we'll be happy to give you an idea about how we approach and prepare for coming storms for us and for our clients.